Every day, people make phone calls. Sometimes it's work. Sometimes it's family and friends. Some people seem to never stop making phone calls. But every day, some phone calls are so important, it could be the difference between life and death. 911. Please, I, I need some help. Please send somebody. What is the nature of the emergency? It's my son. He, he's not moving. He's on the floor. Oh, my God. Stay calm. I'm going to send help. Is your son still breathing? Yes, he's breathing. Think you have what it takes to be on the other end of the line? Are you ready to make a difference? In eight months, you can complete the McEwen Emergency Communications and Response Program, and then you'll be ready to take that call. Stay calm, I'm sending help, but stay on the line. Nine one one. Three numbers that have not changed in 40 years. What has changed is how we make the call. The process, technology, protocols, and response paradigms. This is Edmonton ERCC. Uh, we take 911 calls for fire and EMS. We revolve around technology here. Without it, it would be a lot more hectic than it already is. So It's extremely important to be comfortable with the computer systems that we have. We are in the St. Albert RCMP call center dispatch. And we take all 911 calls for the RCMP as well as transferring over to fire and ambulance. Grant McEwen helped us because every day we were in the computer lab learning with our radios and our programs. Um, this is called our KID system. It's all it's the program that we use to open up every complaint as well as run previous histories for officer safety. McEwen was definitely, definitely helped. I work in K Division's telecom center. You always have to keep in touch. You're constantly learning, you know. The more you know about your technology, the more efficient you are at your job. Computers, cell phones, satellites, and communication technology have come a long way. And the McEwen ECRP program gives you the training to handle complex and highly specialized equipment. It also gives you the technical foundation to learn and grow with our ever-changing technology. But there's one thing that hasn't changed since the rotary phone. On the other end of the line is a person. Because when you're talking about emergency communications and response, the key word is communication. Officers are on their way. When your 911 lights up and your your heart your heart gets going. Emergency dispatch, what's the address of the emergency? When it's busy on a Friday or Saturday night and there's more calls coming in than there are evaluators, you have to get off the phone quickly just to take another call. Trying to give your EMS crews and fire crews an update while dealing with phone calls. And PRE 6 pump 9, you're responding with Alpha 2 to 9644 Austin. Awesome. Multitasking is 100% of it really. Like You're always answering calls always doing radio transmissions with uh, members. Say no, but RCMP, bonjour. When someone calls and they're distraught, you just have to stay calm. Um, when you're calm, they're calm. Reduce their level of loudness so you can get the location they're at, all the safety aspects. And Grant McEwen program just showed us that we need to take control. You need to be the one that's taking control of the conversation. Okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line, I'll tell you exactly what to do next. To that person, every call is critical to them or else they wouldn't be phoning in. So you have to give each person 100% focus, give them all your attention, treat it like an emergency. You have to definitely keep a calm head doing everything in this job. I love this job. No two days are ever the same. It's good knowing you're helping. The satisfaction of going home knowing you possibly saved somebody's life. It's, it's a rewarding job. Help is on the way. Staying collected in the middle of chaos, making key decisions at vital times, communicating when it's absolutely critical. McEwen's Emergency Communications and Response Program prepares you to evaluate, coordinate, and dispatch emergency services in a crisis. It prepares you to keep a cool head, because when someone calls 911, they need the person on the other end of the line to do the right thing quickly and efficiently. But it's not just 911 that people call in an emergency. As technology and services evolve, so does the role of emergency operators. Police dispatch, transit and airport authorities, public education and health services, security and private firms all have emergency dispatch centers. And all of them need highly trained professionals to make them tick. There's always going to be this position. Like there will always be law enforcement and also ambulance and fire the need for it. So I think there will always be opening job positions. There's so many opportunities to move up. So many different branches you can go into. Yeah, there's lots of growth in this um, for dispatching as well for oil field, trucking companies, alarm systems. It's endless opportunities for where you can work. Well, since I finished school within eight months, I was able to get a job right away. Been working here since. Awesome benefits, great pay. Helping people is definitely a rewarding job. You can go home at the end of the day and know you did something good. 
even if you're not saving a life every moment, you get to at least help someone out, even if it's something little. It's nice. <laughs> Job opportunities for emergency dispatchers continue to grow. They're professional, well-paid jobs. And in eight months, the McEwen Emergency Communications and Response Program can prepare you for the job, teach you to handle the technology, and prepare you to evaluate and coordinate emergency services. The question is, are you ready? Because when someone dials an emergency number, they have to put their faith and trust in the person at the other end of the line. It's a call for help. Help is on the way and it might be the most important phone call of their lives.